I'm telling you, the world that we live in is crazy. I mean, all this just gender neutral, transgender, LGBT, QIA, 1, 2, 3, ABC, XYZ insanity is just running rampant. And my cat just walked into my room. So hopefully he doesn't jump on my computer like the last time. But I have some articles here just about the gender neutral insanity going on in the world today. And look at that freak right there. But here's the, one of the articles. Schools allow kids to change gender without parental consent, but parents push back. Good for them. Uh, this is why you don't send your kids to the public school system, because they'll just do crap like this to your kids. Parents are suing the Madison Metro Metropolitan School District in Wisconsin for enabling children to socially transition uh, to a member of the opposite sex at school without parental notice or consent. Teachers are directed to deceive parents by using a child's birth name and biological sex whenever parents are involved. Uh, the lawsuit claims the school district is violating parental rights, which they are, by adopting a policy designed to circumvent parental involvement in a pivotal decision affecting the children's health and, f health and future. The policy enables children of any age to socially transition to a different gender identity insanity. Uh, at school without parental notice or consent requires all teachers to enable this transition and then prohibits teachers fr from communicating with parents about this potentially life-altering choice without the child's consent uh, and the lawsuit adds. Again, this is why I don't send kids to the public school system because I, mean, I can personally attest I, I go to a public school you know, for reasons that I won't say but there's so much brainwashing that goes on. There's just all this 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 uh like this this liberation theology type stuff you get brainwashed into abortion sodomite quote unquote marriage all this this stuff evolution atheism feminism everything under the sun it's ridiculous homeschool your kids because basically if you send them to the public school system they're gonna become godless atheists and just total de degenerates you know, it's crazy the school district also or the school district also directs uh, its teachers and staff to deceive parents by reverting the child's birth name and corresponding pronouns right whenever the child's parents are nearby this according to the lawsuit filed Tuesday February 18th is a violation of uh, parents fundamental and constitutional right to direct the upbringing of their children amen I mean your kids don't belong to the state your kids belong to the parents and God too but your parents if you're a Christian uh, you know, I won't read that, but the school is basically like allowing them to change their gender, you know, supposedly change your gender. It's crazy. Uh, it go, it flies in the face of any real science, by the way. Uh, here's one I found really ridiculous. Teen sentence for asking tr transgender tranny cop about their gender. You know, like this this little sissy fairy, right? This little fairy sodomite sissy, right, sissy right there. Okay, let's get one thing straight. It's your job to convey your gender. It's not our job for, to guess. Unfortunately, in the United Kingdom, for one autistic teenager, it is considered a hate crime to ask somebody if they're a man or a woman. The teen who suffers from Asperger's and al alignments or alignment uh, on the autism spectrum that diminishes one's ability to censor one's thoughts in the same way as normal, quote-unquote, quote-unquote normal people ask a police officer their gender. Or sorry, as normal people asked a police officer their gender, that's when the trouble for him began. The 19-year-old man, Declan Armstrong, offended the transgender tranny. Uh, no one has ever no one has ever transitioned their gender, but the term refers to someone pretending to be the opposite sex. Amen. I agree with that. You cannot scientifically change your gender. It's not possible. Uh, I mean, you have to just mutilate your body in order to even try to do it. Uh, support officer Connor uh, Friel, who claims they were upset and embarrassed by the young man. Uh, Connor Friel. Armstrong was charged with violating the Welsh Officers Order Act of 1986, or, or yeah, Order Act 1986, by using abusive or insulting words with the intent to cause harassment. I mean, come on. Asking a cop about their gender is abuse and harassment. I mean, what a bunch of sissies. I'm telling you, you saw them after a bunch of sissies. I mean, they, they, they get offended over any little thing you say wrong. I mean, 
you know, it's funny they claim, oh yeah, you know, we're not like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a sodomite watching us. I mean, just admit it. Your community, sodomite community, you just get offended over every little thing someone says wrong, and you just have to have these little laws and these little censorship laws, and and, and you just you just can't have your feelings hurt. You just cannot have your little itty bitty feelings hurt. I mean, what a bunch of wimps. I mean, seriously, be grow up, be a man. You know. I mean, if you're a sodomite out there, just know that people are going to hurt your little feelings, okay? So quit quit just, like, oh, don't hurt my feelings. I mean, what a bunch of wimps. And I just had to, I had to go on that rant. Armstrong was charged with violating the Welsh Order Act of 1986. But, oh, yeah, I already read that. And has uh, been sentenced, and has a sentence raised to a low medium of level community order because of his transphobic nature. Really? So basically, not asking him what gender they are is transphobic. <sighs> liberals, liberals are just insane. I mean, sodomites and liberals are mentally insane. The law against offending transgender people is designed to create tough stance on transphobia. Yeah, sure. Emphasizing tolerance and inclusivity. So asking someone about their gender is, is intolerance. Again, what a bunch of wimps and sissies these these dirty sodomites are. According to Yahoo News, the team was fined 590 pounds which is $800, $800 in American money, and was given a strict three-month curfew, which local papers are calling a highly or a daily house arrest. For, for asking someone about their gender? I mean, really? The, U, the UK is just so wicked. I mean, the UK is just... Come on. Really. I, I just, I'm just beyond words. I mean, it's just the stupidity of these, these liberals and sodomites. Uh, transgender male, tra transgender male. Tra I'm not even going to show you the picture because it's so disgusting and, and perverted. Transition from g to a gender neutral alien. Yeah, you heard it right. They're thinking they're transitioning to an alien. You know, it just backs up my claim that these these trannies are just mentally insane. In reality, transgender people do not exist because no one in history, in mankind, has ever transitioned their gender. True. Very, very true. The term used implies a real... Uh, I won't read that. I'll get, I'll get into the actual story. He, that's just his side comments. But how far will society go to appease transgender? A woman who goes by the name of Jareth Nebula started to pretend uh, to be a late a man in her late 20s so he can change her age now. Mentally insane. And her family and friends appease her n neurosis. Whatever. Again, not good at reading. Yeah, neurosis. But now a 33-year-old uh, Washington native... And, bar and bar barbershop receptionist says she is a gender neutral alien. Wow. I mean, just mental mental illness at its finest. First written in the daily about in the Daily Mail, Jareth had her her nipples. Okay, kind of graphic right there. Hey, kitty. My cat just jumped on my bed. Adorn her face in piercings and wears over overworldly layers of makeup to look less human. I mean, just add me on words. And another story. McDonald's employee fired for asking if Happy Meals were boy or girl. Seriously. So you're firing people for asking, hey, is it for a boy or a girl? I mean, really. I mean, 20 years ago, if you said something, if something like this happened 20 years ago, the McDonald's would have gotten so much hate mail, they would just be laughed at. Like, they'd be the laughing stock. But now today in, in, in cloud cuckoo land, you know, it's okay now. It's normal to just fire somebody for simply asking, is it for a boy or a girl? Crazy. Bigoted, quote unquote, bigoted McDonald's drive through worker has been fired for asking a customer if her Happy Meal was for a boy or a girl. Great. Is that for your boy or a girl? The employee asked after a customer ordered a cheeseburger Happy Meal, having waited 45 minutes to get to the speaker. Uh, there are three cars in front of her. Excuse, and it's what they say, excuse me, did you just reinforce the harmful gender binary? The enraged customer shouted, I mean, what a bunch of what a little sissy that customer is. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not trying. To, like, actually, no, I am trying to be mean. I take that back. I mean, that little sissy customer. Oh, you, you, you uh, reinforce the harmful gender binary. The enraged customer shouted, "How dare you! You'll be hearing from my lawyers." After, um, after getting her toy, she sped off in a huff. Immediately dialed her attorney and filed to file a lawsuit. I mean, really, what a sissy little wimp. I mean, come on. These these liberals, and I don't just gonna go off on a tangent. These liberals are just are just wimps. I mean, that's all they are, just wimps. And I, I'd say just go just go to them. Offend. I personally, I am. I, I'll publicly say this. If you see a liberal, just offend them on purpose. Just make fun of them. Offend them on purpose. Because if they're so concerned about being offended, just offend them. You know, just say it. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, there are only two genders. Just offend them because 
Nothing will please these dumb liberals. Nothing pleases them. So just offend them, you know? Okay, I'm done my rant. <laughs> had, to, had to get that out there. And obviously, I'm trying not to be bitter and angry. But, you know, this just enrages me. This, 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 these sissies. These, these sodomite sissies. Okay, back to the article. Uh, McDonald's franchise quickly apologized and fired the offending employee. We're sorry to have hurt you in this way. We do not mean to suggest that boys tend to like cars and girls tend to like Barbies, ponies, horses, stuff, or that boys, or that boys and girls exist. Huh? What? Boys and girls exist. We're sorry to. We're sorry to suggest that boys and girls exist. Or any other bigoted anti-science thing like that. Um. Are they, are, are they even mentally stable? So, it's bigoted to suggest that boys and girls exist, and it's anti-science. Um, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. My voice is giving out on me. I mean, really? I mean, this is just a high degree of mental illness right here. So it's bigoted now to say there's only two genders. I mean, liberalism is just mental illness. Um, yeah, as for the hashtag, I put my Instagram, hashtag liberalism is a mental disorder. It is. I mean, seriously, it is. At publishing time, sources have confirmed the customer's son, Alvary, was upset he got a dumb toy instead of a cool Hot Wheels car. Oh, boo-hoo, you know. <sighs> New ultrasound technology can detect up to 50 genders. Yeah, sure. U.S. Advanced Ultrasound Parental Ultra, or yeah, Advanced Parental Ultrasound Technology can detect up to 50 genders. The te technology will uh, put in use clinics and hospitals the right way. So parents can know if their child, if they're going to have a boy or a girl, or one of the 48 other genders it's capable of detecting. Okay, um, so the hospitals are being affected with this ment mental illness too? Crazy. There are, of course, hundreds more, gen hundreds more genders, but researchers are still working on upgrading the technology to detect all the other ones. Um, newsflash, there are not 100 other genders. There's only two genders, according to biology, which is basic science. But I know the God-hitting liberal atheists are going to be like, eh, bigotry. Well, it's called freedom of speech. Let me just scroll down. See if there's anything I want to highlight. Eh, nothing else I want to highlight. But this is just all the, the gender-neutral, transgender insanity going on in, in the Western world today. It's crazy. You know, every day I'm just thinking like, okay, when, when's the rapture going to happen? I want to just get out of this crazy world. You know, obviously I want to witness the people too, but, you know, it's crazy. I'm looking forward to getting out of here. This is just this is just mental illness at its finest. Mental illness. I, I just just I mean, all I can describe is just a high degree of, of just mental insanity. So anyway, don't be don't be deceived by all this liberalism, transgender insanity. Um, and I'm sorry for for being a bit angry in the video. It's just this stuff just fires me up. I mean it, it's just it's just the stupidity of these people. And just the just the, the don't offend us, don't offend us, don't offend us. You know, come on, be a man, grow up. Okay, and again, try not to let, let off bitter and wrath, but, you know, don't want to be bitter and wrathful, but at the same time, it just, it's just this insanity, this liberal insanity. So, anyway, God bless you, goodbye.